I didn't know that I was attracted to documentary photography before I went on the course. I went for an interview at Salisbury College of Art for photography there, which was sort of a bit fashion-based. And I didn't really know what I was doing with my photography. I didn't know it was documentary photography. And they, they looked at my photography and it was black and white and it was always of people documenting their lives. And they said, we don't think you're really suitable for this course, but you, have you heard of Newport? So I changed all my options and looked at it and thought, wow, this is definitely the course. This is exactly what I'm doing and marries up with what I want to do with my photography. The building was amazing. Great big round windows and staircases and fantastic big old doors. So we had the canteen with Reg, who, I don't know if you read Gormenghast, but he's a bit like Swelter. This great big fat chef with his he literally wore a chef's hat. Sometimes we had somebody's birthday or a party down there and um, just the whole building was vibrant. David Home was always there, always in the background. I've actually got a picture of him with his arms around me. So at some point we must have had a chat about something heart to heart probably about how's it going and how do you feel about your work at the moment? always felt desperately insecure about what I was doing. Because at the end of the day, you went back for a crit almost every day in the first year. And what you thought you might have got in the bag or in the can wasn't there. Because <laughs> you'd be sat with the, your tutor or your personal tutor at that point. That actually, I think Daniel Meadows looms large in my memory. And he'd be there with his China graph pen to draw around your contact sheet to find a little square that might have been good, i.e. the photograph. And you'd be there with another colour. I think we always had yellow and they had like either blue or green. And so you might have you might have got to the point where you were allowed, well, you could put your own mark around. So you had the confidence to say, this is the one that I think works. And they might agree with you and put their China graph pen around a crayon. And you go and print it up and then you come back and then say, you know, the lecturer might say, well, actually, if you've got this angle or you should try that, but keep trying it from different angles. And then you'd have to go back to the person you were photographing. Please, do you mind? <laughs> you know, sometimes you might have to go back to the same person about three on three or four occasions. I've got quite a nice shot that I like of a lot of old ladies in a row under those old fashioned hair dryers that come down and they've all got their curlers and their nets on. And there's this trolley with all the hairdressing equipment in the foreground. And then of course you do a shot of the, um, the hairdresser cutting try and get the right angle that took me forever I had to take a step ladder it was I mean, all these things I attempted and they'd go through the whole sheet and you might come up with one photograph that they'd say okay go and print that and we'll have a look at that and pray that they'd say okay that's a wrap or that's good and you've got that bit done and go out and shoot somebody else now and tell a different story I lived in a certain street where there was a hospice Charles and Diana had come to Wales they were coming to the hospice next door as part of their trip in that part of Wales. And we'd had the police around checking the house, making sure that the house was security tight. And um, it started raining and they'd all got umbrellas up and I hadn't got an umbrella and I was getting drenched and it was getting dark and Diana was still in the hospice and we wondered if we were ever gonna see her. And literally two hours later, they came out in the dark, no light, chances of taking a photograph. There I am, cynical student, royalty, whatever. Diana comes out and I'm like, what? Diana, Diana! Waving like a lunatic and trying to take photographs. <laughs> There's this sort of one glamorous shot where she just looks like some sort of 1930s film star in the rain with an umbrella over her, you know, so yeah, summed it up.
Thank you for giving me enough skills to take lovely pictures of my daughters and the most important thing in my life has been being a mother. My daughters have said to me, we've got some fantastic pictures, Mum. And, you know, that's obviously because you're a photography student. So they've sort of made me proud of it, really.